Introduction Peter, I am feeling very thirsty. Can you get me some water to drink, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, here you are. Hmm, I feel much better after drinking water. Thank you. Hey, do you know that a major part of our body consists of water? Oh, really? Yeah, my sister told me about it yesterday. Uh, so let's go to her and know more about water. Objectives At the end of this course, you'll be able to List sources of water and its uses Know different forms of water Describe the concept of water cycle and water supply at our homes Explain the storage of water and its wastage Identify the causes of water pollution Hello, sister. Hi, John. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Peter said that you told him some interesting facts related to water. I also want to know them. Okay. I will tell you. Actually, water is one of the most abundant substances on the earth. It covers almost 70% of the earth's surface and it makes our entire planet blue when we see it from space. Now I will tell you about the different forms of water. Water exists in three forms. Liquid, solid and vapor. Sister, from where can we get water? Oh, you are asking about the sources of water. Actually, water has limited number of sources like wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, seas and oceans. Besides these, groundwater is also an important source of water. John, do you know the purposes and uses of water? No sister, please tell us. Water is essential for all humans, plants and animals. We drink it. We take bath in it. We cook our food in it. We wash and clean our clothes with it. So, it is very helpful in our daily activities. Sister, yesterday you also told me about the water cycle. Please tell us more about it. Okay. The water cycle is a natural process of circulation of water from the land to the sky and back to the land. In this process, water in water bodies like rivers, seas and oceans gets heated up by the sun and forms water vapors. This water vapor rises up in the air and gets cool and turns into cloud and finally into rains. Then, after raining, land water goes to lakes and rivers, which then flow back to the seas or oceans, and the cycle completes. This cycle gets repeated again and again. Guys, now I am telling you how do we get water supply at our homes and other places? As you know, that we get water through taps and this water is drawn from a lake or a river and then it is supplied through a network of pipes after purification process at the water plants. We should not waste water while doing daily activities. We all use so much water while brushing teeth or washing dishes. Sometimes large amount of water gets wasted through small leaks in pipes and dripping taps. Look John, this water is so dirty. Oh yes, but how does the water get so dirty? Guys, do you know that throwing garbage and draining sewage into the water bodies makes it dirty and polluted? We cannot use this water for drinking and other household purposes. 
Sister, my teacher told me that we can also store the rainwater and reuse it. But how can we do it? For storing rainwater, we can use a large tank or even dig a huge pit in the backyard and collect the rainwater in these reservoirs. After that, we can use the stored water for watering outdoor plants to keep them green and for some washing purposes also. And in cases, this water can also be used for drinking purpose after filtration. Summary Let's summarize what we have learned so far. Water is one of the most abundant substances found on earth. Water exists in three forms, liquid, solid and vapor. We use water in our daily activities. The water cycle is a natural process of circulation of water from the land to the sky and back to land again. We should not waste water. Dumping garbage in water bodies 